today I I actually I want I want to review the most useless, terrible guitar pedals that have ever been created. What's up, guy? So, as we all know, we're in the age of technological innovation, and with innovation comes groundbreaking and world-changing technologies. In celebration of the NAM show this week, I just, I kind of just want to put some of these technologies on the forefront. I want to talk about guitar pedal, but this isn't the age of resistors and capacitor springs, is it? I mean, I guess maybe it is. I don't know. Really, what it comes down to is that I want my guitar to sound like an episode of Ancient Aliens. I want it to sound like some dystopic sci-fi hellscape. There's nothing better than turning your guitar into the fucking Chronicle of Narnia, okay? There's nothing better than George Orwell's 1984 and a guitar pedal. That's what we have, okay? I, I just, that's the way I see it. This is, I mean, what are we talking about? This isn't cringe. This guitar pedal couldn't be cringe. It's not cringe at all, is it? Of course not. No. It's innovative. It's amazing. There's, there's nothing wonky or horny or musically useless about any of these modern guitar pedals. Th these are all the most useful guitar pedals ever made. I mean, obviously, right? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's really, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I mean, what I want to do is I want to achieve peak guitar douchebag. I mean, that's why I bought this pedal, right? See if they're worth the money and the hype. I mean, obviously, people are willing to pay a lot of money for this, this stuff. <laughs> this shit. People are willing to pay a lot of money for this shit, right? I mean, I have it right here. This is a thing I bought. I got this one, too. Look at... Look... These can't be useless, right? These have to be a useful thing. This is useful. It's gotta be. I mean, it's not like all the guitar gurus and charlatans are just selling us useless junk. Could they? Could they be? I don't. I don't think so. This has parameters. I mean, they wouldn't sell me parameters if it were useless. I got per parameters here and MIDI. It's got MIDI, okay? Of course you need MIDI in a guitar pedal, right? I mean, everything should be connected via MIDI now, right? It's 2024. What are we doing? We need MIDI on everything. If you don't have MIDI on every single fucking thing, what the fuck are you- We need MIDI! I have to have MIDI! This one doesn't have MIDI. Throw it away. Actually, it's hand stamped number 422, so I'll keep this one. It might be worth something. Probably not. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I don't, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe all these charlatans are scamming us. Maybe they're just selling us the sound of autism. Is this the sa is this the sound of autism? Could be. Hold on. Let me call my dog. He might know if this is autism. Hello? But surely I haven't been diagnosed with late stage capitalism. I couldn't possibly be having a diagnosis of late stage capitalism here. I mean... This has gotta be useful stuff, right? It's gotta be. I think this was like $350. There's no way it's useless. But before I review all these horrible, shitty, terrible pedals, uh, I really wanna, I wanna take a deep dive into the mood pedal, okay? I, I think we've hit peak cringe when it comes to guitar pedals. And this is, this is the cringiest guitar pedal before I review it, and all these other fucking terrible pedals, uh, let's just, let's take a look at Chase Bliss and see what they have to say about this pedal. Um, this, this is the Mark 1. They no longer make it, but I guarantee you, just from the looks here, I mean, time, modify, clock, reverb, slip, delay, I mean, it seems like they've literally changed nothing but the color scheme. So, in typical Mark II fashion, change nothing at all, raise the price $100, give it a new coat of paint. I mean, that's how you know it's good. Alright, but, so let's see, what, what do they have to say about this? So, spatial chemistry, okay. So, um, this must have Dolby Atmos built into it. I didn't even know it. 
Okay. The chemistry part. Uh, is this explosive spatial chemistry? All right. I don't know what that could mean. I guess we'll find out when we review it for ourselves. But from what I can tell, there's only one output. And then there's MIDI out as well. So I, I'm not really seeing the Dolby Atmos thing. The Mood Mark II is a different kind of multi-effect. Go on. It's two channels. Oh, oh, okay. So it is stereo. That's not MIDI out. Okay. So it's stereo. Stere spatial. Left and right. Okay. I guess. Kind of spatial. I wouldn't call it spatial. It's just a buzzword. Okay. But anyway, I digress. Uh, it's two channels are aware of each other and work together. Wow, it's uh, sentient. Both channels are sentient. That's phenomenal. Like, how'd they do that? Who wrote this? Stephen Hawking? This is ridiculous. Transfer. Combine. Get lost. What's new for it? Mark II. Okay, so they they did add some stuff. Oh, stereo. A, lo a lot. Stere okay, so this one is not stereo, then. Is it? It looks like it has two outputs. I guess it is MIDI out, but maybe not? I don't know. It's not very clear. All these dip switches back here, they act like it's the greatest invention they've ever come up with. Like, oh yeah, you know what will be super useful and helpful and you'll be definitely using a lot, especially now that you probably have like one of these super fancy zip tied down pedal boards where you can't fucking access anything. It's a bunch of dip switches on the top that you're, you're definitely gonna use. Cool. I love that. I don't see how that would help me write a better song. What are we using this for? Effects. Like, they're just really just... They're hitting the buzzwords, you know? That's what it is. Micro looping. So if you suck at catching loops, you know what you might be good at? Making your guitar sound like shit with micro looping. You're gonna love it, to be honest. It's really gonna fit your vibe. It really matches your aesthetic. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very very cool. Very cool. Okay. MIDI magic. Our deepest MIDI integration yet. Introducing the ability to play Mood Mark II with a keyboard. Okay. This proves... This proves they're the cringiest fucking... This, this, reversible AF is what they're saying on their website. That's what they have to say. Reversible AF. Like, who wrote this? A 16-year-old? That's, that's dope. Okay. They got a cool set though. This is actually, this is really cool. Like they, they have a good aesthetic. I get why people like it. I mean, this is a nice aesthetic. I get why people buy the pedals. I feel like they see them and they're like, wow, this pedal looks very cool. This is a cool looking pedal. I want it. And then they get it and they find out, well, yeah, I mean, it looks a lot cooler than it is uh, uh, like to use in a practical way. But yeah, cool set. I mean, this is awesome. They got a nice camera. Okay, very cool. <laughs> That's my dry tone. I'm just plugged directly into the mood pedal and I'm going DI into my 1073 and into my interface. Uh, there may be some something, something or other going on in the interface, but likely not that much so let's see what do we have going on here so we have two switches fuck it let's let's just uh let's just see let's see what happens that's that's kind of cool actually it makes me feel like I forgot how to play guitar.
it's 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 cool to that's cool to solo over but i feel like overall i don't know if that's a great songwriting tool but that could be good for like a segue or something from one part to another let's see what else we have here uh so Yeah, again, it's like the the pedal is the instrument. It's like you don't even play the guitar, which makes sense. It's a sampler. Or it's supposed to be a sampler. I feel like there's a better way to do that, but it kind of just does. It does the sampling thing for you. I guess if you don't know how to use Ableton, that could be cool. That's kind of cool. this do I don't know what happened I don't know what I did I pissed it off fuck okay let's see So that's the note length mix. All right, so I'm gonna put the mix down the middle. This is the clock. I'm guessing that changes the length of the notes and this. Okay, so this is modify. Okay, so reverb, delay, slip, time. Envelope. Oh, that's how I pissed it off. <laughs> okay, so the only cool one is stretch, maybe? I don't know. Let's see tape. that it does yeah that means nothing okay so What the fuck? Alright, so I just strummed one chord. It's hurting my brain. It's like, it's like, it's not syncopated. I don't know what the fuck it's doing. What the fuck? Okay. That 
that's kind of cool. That I I mean, it's a sampler, but you have to sample it. I feel like that would be a cool sample. <laughs> And then I just, I don't know, you don't play anything else. Maybe a bass line and some drums. And that's your song. I, I just... The reverb is a lot cooler. This, the stre- uh, what is that? Slip? Dude, that shit hurts my fucking brain. Okay. <laughs> Okay, alright, so that's cool. Wait, what, what happens? When you slip and stretch? That's fucking ass. That's fucking ass, dude. That's actually terrible. Wait, hold on. Let's play just a really beautiful chord. Okay, that's nice. Stretch. Okay. S stretch is good. When you slip it though, it fucking sounds like a dial tone. It's that's actually offensive. Okay. Uh, what about the lay though? That also sounds like shit. This is just, like, if you want to make a Passion Pit song, make a Passion Pit song. I don't think you need to spend $400 on a pedal that just don't really do it that good. I don't know. I don't know. I could be crazy. I spent the money on it, so I'm stupid. It's clear. <laughs> So it does one thing. Wait, wait, it does two things. It also does this, where you can play it as an instrument watch. Okay, so, if you want to make a song with this, it sounds like Radiohead. It's actually kind of cool. It does sound like Radiohead. That's actually pretty badass. But, say you actually do want to play a song, so it seems like you got, like, this, this part right here, uh, fucking, like, 6 o'clock to... 10, 10 o'clock, that's your bass line. Your chords are around 12 o'clock, and then all of your fucking melody shit would be up here. Bam. You got a song, get a drum machine. This pedal is great if you don't fucking know how to play any instruments. I think, like, honestly, really, like, let's just put one note in. See, and there's your song. You got a song right there. Yeah, so it's really good if you just, if you're, 
honestly, I get I get what it's made for. It's for people, like I said, who their pop punk band did not turn out well. And then they decided, hey, I'm going to fucking make, I don't know, fucking chill wave or something. And if you, and they don't know how to play keyboards very good. Their synth skills are shit. So, uh, yeah, if you, like, if you want to sample a synth. That would be a lot cooler. All right. Fuck this pedal, though. Overall. I got to say. There are some cool things about the pedal. I would say it's a C-tier pedal. It's C-tier. 100%. All right. Next pedal. So next pedal here is the uh, is the Dimmy Dash. T next pedal here is the Dimmy Dash T120. I would say this is similar vibe, very like chill wave looking. Like my pop punk band failed. So now I'm in a chill wave fucking washed out computer core band or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Skrillex mode. I don't fucking know. It could be cool. I hate this even more. Okay, so it's the same shit. Uh, it's supposed to be like a videotape. If anybody knows, you can. I think you can turn like a VCR into a tape delay. I mean, it's it's got a cool, like, kind of chorusy vibe. Hold on. Let me turn all the parameters down. Let's see. Time, echo, intensity. All right, so we got time, echo, and intensity here. So it's like a regular tape echo, kind of. I, it doesn't sound bad. Okay, yeah, if you do like, like more of a slap back thing. tape quality. Let's turn that all the way up. And then, so it has this other fucking button. That's cool. That's cool if you're, like, playing a gig. That would actually be really cool. It should just be like... That's, that's pretty neat. I don't know if I like the depth. Let's turn the speed all the way down. That's scary. That sounds scary to me. 
Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Like, yeah, you could use this in like a Flaming Lips cover band. What fucking tempo? It just modulates it like out of... Like there's no... Yeah, it's not actually... Hold on. Like... It's not even in time with itself. That's weird. I don't like that. I... Maybe... Well, no, I think this is just modulation. So down here, it's like you have a chorus pedal, which is cool. I love chorus. It's one of my favorite effects, but I think the chorus ensemble is a little better than this. This is like kind of saturation I think let's turn everything else down and see just kidding so I don't even know that it affects the quality of the delays. That's weird. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a D tier pedal as well. I fucking hate this pedal. This pedal is shit. Again, <clears throat> if you want to buy this from me, That would be great. That would be really fucking good. Okay, so I actually, this is a pedal I really like. Um, the Deco is very cool. I think it's a cool pedal. It's not... It's not as bad as these other fucking pedals. So let's see. That's awesome. That sounds sick. Yeah, that sounds great. That's okay. So, and that's just the like kind of a chorusy tape flange thing that it does. All right. So this is supposed to be the tape saturation. Let's see. That sounds sick. That 
That is so, like, that's very, like, Dinosaur Jr., like... <laughs> Honestly, yeah, this is a t a s tier fucking pedaling. This is a s tier fucking pedal. Okay, Strymon doesn't miss. They, they can. T I know the fucking church rock guys. And listen here, all you Jesus guitar players. <laughs> I get it. Strymon is really good. All right, that's all. Um, yeah, I fucking agree. Okay, I agree. Strymon is a good company. All right, so this. This is the JHS. They're the fucking trendsetter, okay? Like, everybody seems to love JHS. And I've owned quite a few of their pedals. I own the Unicorn and the Penguin, the Alpine, the 3 Series Phase... Uh, the one that's, but, all right, I, anyway, my point is, I've owned a lot of their pedals, this is the only one I have left, I've sold them all, um, and, I'll probably sell this one too, it's not bad, Like that. It's a good sounding, uh, reverb, right? That's a, actually, that's a good pedal. To be honest, it's not bad. Um, it's not... It's definitely not bad. I actually think that's a really good pedal. Um, is it my favorite reverb of all time? Probably not. Um, no, it's definitely not my favorite reverb. That's what I have to say about the JHS stuff is it's okay. It's mid. It's very mid. It's honestly below mid. It's this reverb does not sound better than the Wampler. Here's my thing. If you were a guitar player in the early 2000s like I was, you remember that line six was terrible. I don't know where all the propaganda of line six is amazing. I mean, they have some okay shit, and I know people really like the Helix. There's a lot of Helix stands out there. I would love to try it. Maybe it's good. I had the pod, ass. 
absolute ass. I fucking, I even, I even when all this uh, line six standing started, I bought the Verbzilla. It was okay. It was pretty good. It wasn't like amazing. I wasn't blown away by it. It, it was mid. This, this, uh, this pedal, this JHS pedal is no better than a line six pedal. That's what this pedal is it's mid that's okay it doesn't make it horrible um i don't get it i don't i really don't to me i don't get, i just don't get it it's it's not it's not electro harmonics it's not bot it's not mxr it's it's okay it's just okay and the jhs stands out there may they might hate me i just have never been blown away by a single jhs pedal and i've uh, I, I know like some of them go for a lot of money the uh uh, one with the heart what I don't know what it's called yeah get your bag I guess but uh don't try and convince me that that's a good pedal okay because they're they're D tier they're D tier JHS is a D tier pedal company it's okay it is what it is anyway Next up on the chopping block, another reverb. This is very ambient. This is, uh, you know, again, very my band failed core chill wave thing, you know? It's a running theme with all of these pedals. That That's really who they're marketing to, is the, the home producer of the guy whose band fucking failed. Probably how they sold me so many of these fucking stupid pedals as a guy who is in um my band failed core type of music whatever um it is what it is you know not every band is gonna make it and that is why we have ambient guitar pedals so whatever yeah that's uh this is another pedal that and pedal company that all right they have more hype than I think is deserved. Um, they have some cool pedals. I like the Rainbow Machine. I think that's a really interesting pedal. All of their other pedals irritate the fuck out of me. Uh, here, I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. It reminds me of the Mood pedal, but it just won't fucking stop. Okay. All right. Uh, let's. This bitch is still going. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so I actually, I think this is a cooler pedal than the, uh, the mood pedal. It does the same thing for a hundred dollars and it doesn't have all the stupid dip switches. That's actually like, th and it just does the useful part. It doesn't do all that other unuseful shit and it does the whole thing for a hundred bucks. Okay, actually that might be an A tier pedal. I was wrong. I thought I hated this pedal. I haven't used it in like a long time, but just immediately. Immediately, like I know I could use that in something I'm you know it's probably not a pedal that I keep on yeah I'm not gonna play a gig with that all on the whole time right but I might use that as a like a That's a tool. Like, oh, so ominous. And then... Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, that's a useful pedal, actually.
Okay. It is haunted, though. There is a demon that lives inside this pedal. I'm actually scared. Holy shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, there, there is something wrong with this pedal. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, there is definitely a demon inside this fucking pedal. Okay, wait. Let's just... Okay. That was scary. It's more useful than the mood pedal. And I gotta say, I think Earthquaker Devices has S tier art on all their pedals. They really do have the best fucking art department in the game. I mean, look, you know who doesn't? What the f What is this? What is this? Why the hype, dude? Chinese shit. He probably doesn't even make these in Kansas City, let's be honest. He has that fucking This is this is Chinese shit. He's just labeling it. That, what they're doing in Kansas City is fucking labeling Chinese pedals. Don't buy the hype. The, he does nothing. He's got a good scheme. You can find this pedal on Alibaba for like three cents. Uh, the Strymon Deco is great. S tier. The Afterneath is just haunted, but it's cool. It's cool. I fuck with it. Okay. Uh, the Tape Echo is shit. The, or video tape. The Damadash. The Dim Dash. Shit. Terrible. Horror. Worst. I nominate this pedal as worst pedal ever made. This is dog shit. All right. Now I have one pedal left. Um, let's see. I don't know how to introduce this because you should just buy this fucking pedal. It's honestly the coolest pedal ever made. Game Changer Audio. I mean, they got the name for a reason. It's so cool. It's sick. Honestly, I feel like I don't even need to plug it in. You should just go buy it. Uh, this is the coolest modern pedal on the market. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna test this one. Just go buy it. Um, the Strymon, always, they always make great shit. Uh, let's see. And, and the Earthquaker devices, they actually won me back over. I'm, honestly, I'm gonna put this on my board. So, like, kudos to them for, for actually, uh, uh, making a surprisingly great pedal like I gotta say I don't know why I thought that I didn't like that pedal at first uh, or like a while back or whatever but um, it did definitely turn me off for a long time but looking at it under the new context especially back to back with the chase bliss and all this other stuff it's easy to see so this this is the afterneath v1 and I, I've got to say they were really ahead of their time as far as um, just effects go. Like kudos, kudos to them. They really, they, they won the race. So, uh, and they're, and you know, you can get this fucking, you can get this after needs pedal for a hundred bucks. I think I paid like 80 bucks three years ago, but I'm pretty sure they're still very cheap. It's literally the, all the good parts of the mood pedal, but it doesn't cost $400. <laughs> And it's not complicated as hell. Although it is haunted and it's scary. There is a ghost that lives in there. But I mean, there's literally a wizard on the fucking art. We had to know it was going to be scary because they got the fucking wizard, dude. I mean, we had to know. There was no way that it wasn't going to be a scary sounding, potentially scary sounding pedal. Uh, these are for sale. Hit me up on Reverb if you want them. And the rest of these are actually going to go on my board. And I, I have a boomer board too. So my entire pedal board is Boss, Ibanez, MXR. Plain and simple. Just no fucking around. Um, special shout out. JHS was always overrated. Um, they did these mods back in the day on the Ernie Ball volume pedal. I have gone through numerous of these and I've got to say they never break faster than JHS modded them. <laughs> 
like it's actually i don't know i don't know if it adds value i feel like it it detracts value pedal sucks but volume pedals in general suck um the morley was a classic volume pedal i think i want to bring that one back so shout out to jhs always being shit Again, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to my Spotify. You can head over to my Spotify, stream my music. It's Tommy Alpaca. Uh, it's really appreciated. Thanks, guys.